Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today we're on board the Asaya. This is a 2015 Heeson. Uh, she measures in at uh, 46.7 meters in length. That's just under 154 feet. She's got a draft of around three meters, a beam at 8.5 meters, and she's powered by twin MTU motors and has a max speed around 15 knots and a cruise speed at 12 knots. She's got a range of 4,000 nautical miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this boat and uh, let us know your thoughts and comments. This is a central listing that we have at Denison Yachting. Uh, Tom Conboy and Chris Collins are the uh, listing brokers. So we'll take a quick look through, let us know your thoughts and comments. Okay, so we're stepping on board the Asaya. You'll see in the aft here, you get a fold down area. This can be used for uh, the tender garage or beach club. Okay, so we're gonna start our tour here on the uh, aft cockpit deck. So you'll see you get a nice uh, covered hard top here, beautiful teak throughout. You've got a coffee table there that looks like that may be a high-low table. And then you've got uh, plenty of uh, bench seating here that does look like it could be reconfigured um, if you like it. So really nice area back here. We're gonna go through the uh, Actually, we're gonna go up one deck and uh, take a look at the bridge deck next. So what I like on this is you can access all three uh, decks from the uh, starboard side here. So looking around, this is the bridge deck up here. And so we've got a nice dining table here set up for outdoor dining. You've got uh, this nice uh, glass here. So you've got an infinity view down to the water from the stern. And then you got really nice stainless steel and glass work there on the uh, companionway to the staircase. We're gonna take a look at the bridge deck. So coming into your bridge deck here, you'll see you've got a uh, nice uh, upper lounge area. So a really nice uh, space. You have a pantry there over on the starboard integrated TV, nice wood table, and little desk over on the port side. And then you've got very nice uh, furniture here and uh, nice storage along the uh, aft section there. Here's your pantry and wet bar up on the starboard. Okay. So forward of this, we do have access directly to the uh, bridge. And I believe there's a captain's cabin up here. So this is our bridge. Nice uh, vertical windows, good view. Looks like we've got six multifunction displays there and all the engine controls for the uh, MTUs. Two nice uh, command chairs there and some seating so guests can uh, see what's going on. On the port and starboard, we have uh, watertight doors. So here we are exiting in the port. Get your life rafts stored down here. And then you have a forward lounge on this boat. So you've got some U-shaped seating as well as a sunbed up here to kind of relax and take everything in. There's a nice vertical windows. And then you see up to the uh, sun deck, which we'll take a look at. When we head down here, this is really nice. You have uh, these openings in the bulwarks here, so you can actually see out, see what's going on, and yet you still have the uh, protection of this raised bulwarks the whole way along here. And then you've got your uh, ground tackle there, and then access to a mechanical space. Okay, so we're gonna head up on the starboard side. Note the safety gate for guests if they are up in the forward lounge area. And then you have storage on either side, as well as it looks like that center section will pop up for additional storage. So you do have ability to walk around this boat very easily. We're gonna cruise down and check out the uh, main deck in our main salon.
Okay, so here we have our nice hydraulic doors. They're push button opening. Okay, so stepping into the main salon, you'll see we've got integrated storage on either side. And a nice lounge area here. High-low TV, nice big windows. Very comfortable feeling in this boat. Okay, and then forward, we've got a formal dining area here. So this is currently set up for dining for uh, 10 people. We'll walk back to the galley here and uh, smells good. <laughs> Going well. So, oh, all good. All good. So there's a separate um, crew staircase here that leads straight into the galley and then down to the crew quarters as well. Thank you. So very nice to have the uh, crew quarters and uh, galley all connected seamlessly. And then when we head up to the starboard side, what you'll see is uh, we do have a weather tight door here on starboard. And then we have a uh, day head here, kind of midship. And then moving forward, Obviously, I've got a little lounge area and office area here, plenty of storage there. There's my uh, desk in the office, and so very nice area to get some work done. Moving forward of that, this is our master, so full beam master, nice king size bed there. And then moving along, you'll see we've got these big windows here. And then the TV hides away. Obviously that slides to hide the TV away. And then this is a really nice master bath here. So you'll see I've got his and hers, uh, Jack and Jill sink, nice storage there down below. And then this really nice full size tub here. We've got a big uh, two person shower with the rain fixture overhead. You do have the emergency escape patch here behind this door, as well as uh, uh, plenty of storage there on that bulkhead. And then this is the uh, master head here and bidet. So really great, great space. Okay, nice trim and woodwork here. And then over on the starboard side, you've got a big uh, walk-in closet area. So here's our big walk-in closet with hanging lockers, inboard, and then storage nicely on the outboard. So really plenty of space there. And then we do have another little desk or vanity on the starboard side. And then we go back through the office here. Okay. So next we are going to head down to the guest cabins. Okay, so we head down this nice spiral staircase here. And what you'll see is on the uh, port side forward, we've got uh, two singles here. Actually, this, one, this uh, room has the uh, bunk bed here. So we got three singles here for the kids and then this is the ensuite with a nice dedicated shower port side aft this is our next uh, guest cabin so really nice uh, portholes there nice ensuite here with dedicated and then this is mirrored over on the starboard side as well you'll see you do have a little vanity and hanging locker TV that's recessed there. Nice big substantial doors. So over to the starboard side, again, matching uh, singles here. 
and then there's your uh, enclosed nice large shower and then toilet and then a uh, nice uh, porthole there giving you some light into the restroom and then your fourth guest stateroom so you get th one master on deck and then four guest staterooms here this one has the blinds pulled down so if you do need to get some rest it does black that out very nicely there's your vanity and TV and hanging locker again. Nice to have the storage there on the side, USB chargers and stuff ready to go. And then here's the ensuite. Okay, we're gonna take you back up the spiral staircase. So again, really nice woodwork here in a spiraling motion, then the nice spiral staircase up. And what you'll see is when we go let me show you this view above, kind of neat to have that effect there with the uh, mirrored feeling. And then we're going to come around here, so we're on the main deck now. And then we're going to head up these spiral staircases. And again, there's two staircases on the boat, one for the crew and then one for the guests. So we are up here, back to the bridge deck. There's a bridge. And then again, this is your second uh, staircase. That's for your crew staircase leading down to the galley and the crew quarters. Okay, here we are on our bridge deck, the aft lounge area again. And then we're gonna walk through the hydraulic doors here. Again, this is nice to have this uh, gated area here with the glass and then beautiful big teak treads, nice handholds on the boat. Okay, so now we're gonna head up to the sun deck. So we're on the bridge deck now. Again, here are nice uh, treads, substantial teak treads. And this is a really lovely sun deck up here. So what you see is we've got the uh, molded hard top there as well as we've got a kind of a sail set up here for added shade and the transom, a really awesome circular table there with seating that wraps around some freestanding chairs there. And then on the port side, we've got our wet bar set up. So four nice uh, stools there, as well as a wet bar and uh, lots of storage. We do have some exercise equipment set up here on the starboard side so you can get your workout in. You have four forward facing chase lounges that uh, can be moved around. And then we've got three nice steps up here and this is basically, it's an infinity jacuzzi. So you would fill it up to the water would just run over the uh, edge there. And then you do have some sun pads that wrap around a half circle of the jacuzzi area. This is really nice to have these freestanding um, shades here as well. So those can be adjusted. You can uh, set those out or in depending on how much sun you want to get for the day. So really lovely and functional sun deck area. Okay, so over here on the port side, this has a watertight bulkhead down to the engine room. So you have a laundry center here on the port side. So this is the uh, tender garage down here. So you see you do have slide out for the uh, jet ski as well as the uh, main tender can be pulled all the way into the garage area. And then you have a dive center here with a dive compressor. So this is a really nice use of mechanical area as well as beach club and then storage for all of your uh, water toys. You do have a cooler down here for when you're using it as a beach club. Take a quick look at the engine room. Thank you. All set. So the engineers are working on some things right now, but this does show you the uh, MTU 8V36 M36s. So MTU engine cons here. And then you've got your engine data display, and this is a really nice walk around use of space here. So you do have good access to all the systems. You can see nicely maintained engine room. OK, 
Okay, here are your generators. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison, thanks for checking out the 2015 Heeson, the Asaya. She is on the market for 22 million, just under 22 million euros. So if you're in the market for a boat like this, please feel free to reach out directly to me for my VIP clients. And for others, they can reach out to the listing brokers, Tom Conboy and Chris Collins with Denison Yachting.